Assets worth 50 trillion US dollars were wiped out by the global economic crisis. That is the equivalent of the world's entire annual output. It's as though no one did any work all year. Most of the money was lost on the trading floor. From New York to Tokyo, markets around the world went into freefall. 28.7 trillion US dollars disappeared in the ensuing black hole. But the wealthy industrialized nations aren't the only ones that have been hit. More and more developing countries are also feeling their dependence on international trade. Demand for their products has fallen, along with the price of raw materials. Many developing countries live from exports, while domestic markets remain weak. The World Bank says 81% of developing countries have been seriously hit by the crisis. In the past, many were able to borrow money from wealthier nations during difficult times. But most developing countries are saddled with massive debt, and it's now too risky for banks to lend them money. That has in turn increased their dependence on development aid. But because of the economic crisis, even the wealthy countries don't have so much money to spare. Donor nations are now 39 billion US dollars in arrears with their payments to the developing world. During the G20 summit in April, leaders of the world's wealthiest nations were asked to step up their giving. But many were so busy pushing through huge stimulus packages for their own economies that there was nothing left for the world's poorest. Only six billion dollars were secured in extra pledges. The World Bank talks of a global recession. If the latest prognoses by various expert bodies come to pass, it will be the worst economic downturn in 80 years.